Hey guys, it's Otto from Acquisition Partner. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you exactly how you can clean and format company names that you're then going to use in cold email uh, outreach campaigns that you're running for your uh, agency or consultancy. So the first example here is just to show you um, the type of data that you're probably used to uh, drawing down. Okay, so if you're using uh, Apollo.io or any other B2B lead scraper database, uh, oftentimes what these databases are going to try and do is reformat the company names anyway. So in Apollo they have the company name and then they actually have an automated process where they try to reformat that into more of a, an email friendly name. But as you can see here, uh, there's still errors. Um, and the, the importance of this is that uh, if you're sending out emails with you know, references to long, uh, long-winded company names, there's irregular gramma uh, grammatical mistakes or symbols, all of the parts of the names are in uh, caps lock or whatever it might be. Um, you know, here you've got limited or solutions or accounting, whatever it might be, uh, these are accounting leads. Um, and basically what you want to do is, is simplify those names to make them more conversational and to make them more human. Okay, so if you're reaching out to a company that is called um, you know, Matt and Co Accountancy Services, if you copy that into an email and send it, uh, the recipient's just gonna see the email as junk, you know, and quite rightly so. Okay, so if you summarize that to Matt Co or just M and C, whatever it might be, whatever um, you, know, you like to do, how, how personalized you like to make these emails, um, I'm going to show you a quick way basically that you can turn names like this into this, okay? So you can share this video with uh, your team, with your VAs, um, it's going to help them really quickly change company names into something that's more uh, better formatted. So what I'll do is I'll just jump over to the steps here, okay? So there's basically five really simple steps, okay? And I'm going to show you them uh, on the, the main tab here. Now the first thing you want to do is go to a tool like FormulaBot, okay? So there's quite a few different AI tools now that integrate with Google Sheets. Um, Formula Bot is just the one the, that I prefer. Um, once you sign up, I think it's like seven pounds a month, you're gonna be able to see all of the previous commands that you've actually um, asked the AI tool. Um, and from there, it's gonna throw up different cell formulas. Uh, and it's gonna explain different ways of um, achieving your goals within Excel. Okay, so I remember when I, when I worked in uh, private equity for a, uh, a real estate fund, um, Obviously everything was on uh, a huge complex Excel model. It was really, really complicated. And at that time, AI didn't even exist. So something like this is incredibly useful, uh, not least if you are running an agency or a consultancy and uh, your, you or your team are handling a lot of data. All right, so without further ado, first step here, okay, is uh, uh, generically clean company names, okay? So the way that we got here was basically just um, literally typing that clean company in column C, or whatever column it was. And then once you integrate FormulaBot, it's pretty easy, you just have to go to your extensions and uh, set them up and launch them there. But what FormulaBot's gonna do is basically throw out this formula here, okay? And I've taken the equals out because you wouldn't be able to see it because uh, it's with in Excel. So what I'll do here is just copy this, go back to our main tab, I'm gonna create a separate column here. It's going to take its time loading. There's quite a lot of data on here, so there might it might be slightly uh, slow. I'm going to bang an equals in there. I'm going to do proper clean of uh, column C. I'll press enter. And it's going to ask me if I want to auto fill uh, all of the lines of data. Um, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, Richie, I need to redo that. Redo that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to whack this in the top cell here. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So the first uh, implication here. I don't know why this isn't loading in time. We'll open that in a minute. Uh, you're gonna see here. Okay, an immediate change in the capitalization, but obviously still a long name, still something that is not quite appropriate for email. So we'll go to step two. Basically what we're gonna do in step two is we prompt FormulaBot to basically identify a load of different uh, additional words within the company names that are irrelevant and kind of add to the spamminess of how it looks. Okay, so oftentimes these are gonna be, if you're in the UK, limited, 
Uh, if you are in the States, it's going to be LLC uh, or PLC. Um, depending on where you are in the world, you want to remove those sort of filler words. Uh, in this case, this is a big database of um, accountancy leads. So we actually want to take out things like accounting or accountants, uh, even and co, you know, things like that. It's, uh, you know, if you think if you received an email and you run this company, Purcell Co, accountants and business advisors, if you get an email from somebody saying, you know, how's things going with Purcell, it kind of all automatically makes it look like they already know the company. Okay, and that's what we're kind of going for here. So this is the fine line that you have to balance with uh, volume and bulk outreach. All right, so there's no there's no uh, false truth. You shouldn't be under the impression that you're going to be able to customize all these emails as if you were writing them, you know, one on one for each recipient. Um, not least if you're sending out to you know ten thousand different email addresses every single month. Okay, so what I've done here is I basically copied this. I'm going to add it into this cell here. Add an equal sign, and that's going to remove. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Let me delete that. Okay, I'll right, we'll do that again. Copy the formula. Go to the new column. Add an equals in, and then drag the formula down. Okay. So we are already seeing a change here in the, uh, we're seeing a change here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is actually just change that to uh, H because we're just building on the columns that we've created. And there we go, we've gone from capitals to proper capitalization to an abbreviated name here. Okay, but as you can see, there's additional white space. Okay, and also you can't actually edit the name because it's not as a, a text format. So the next step is to remove that white space. So what I'll do at the bottom of this video is basically just drop all these uh, formulas so you can just copy and paste them yourself and you don't even have to uh, use formula bot. But we'll add another column. We're gonna add the, uh, the trim command here. We're gonna change the column that it applies to, which is I next door to it and then we'll drag the formula down. There we go, gone from additional white space here to normal trimmed white space. Okay, and again, look, there's, there's words here that you can include in this formula here. You know, I've only added in a few just for, um, for an example, but if you wanted to take out, you know, advisors, uh, partnership, um, you know, advisors, again, this is one that's popping up uh, commonly with, with accountancy firms, then, you can just literally copy and paste those in there. So then what we have to do, now that we've got our, uh, um, now, now that we've got our formatted names, if we click on them, they're all linked to the previous columns. So again, we just add another column here. Let's take a moment just to load. And what we basically want to do is get these into a format. So when we export the spreadsheet, they can then be loaded into our ESP, so whether you're using like instantly or you're doing it directly through Gmail, mail merge, whatever it is that you're sending out bulk emails, you want to make sure that these are all in their uh, correct text form. So what we basically do here is we copy them. And then what we want to do is we want to paste special and we want to do values only. Okay, so when we click them, we can we can edit them, which we can't do here. Okay. And then the final step is basically just to do what I've done previously. So these columns here are the three steps that I've just outlined, and then this is the final one that we're using. These are the ones that I've just created in this video, which I'll delete. <coughs> and then what we can do is basically delete these. Okay. So there we go. Really quick and simple Im implementation. There's a number of ways you can do this. Um, if you task your VAs with doing this and you don't give them uh, specific instructions, they might not get the idea. You know, if you've got guys working for you in uh, other countries and they don't understand limited or LLC, um, they don't have an eye for form formatting these names in a way that you do if you're um, you know, native English speaker, then you're gonna have to show them a video like this um, or give them a step-by-step -step tutorial to do so. And 
that's pretty much it for this guys. So hopefully that helps. I'm gonna make a few more videos on formatting leads. Formatting leads is something that as a, as a founder, as a business owner, you don't wanna be spending your time doing this. This is something that you should 100% be outsourcing. Um, but there, there are quick ways to do it if you need to do it. Okay, so another, another video that I'll make um, most probably in the future is just about formatting phone numbers. And again, if you're able just to do these quickly, um, the time it takes for you to actually source leads and then deploy those into campaigns drastically decreases um, as opposed to you tasking your team to, to do it all. So hopefully that helps. Um, let me know what you think and uh, we'll catch up in the next one. All right, cheers guys.